How to automate lead generation with voice flow chatbots in Zapier in under 5 minutes. Here are some timestamps so you can skip ahead if you want to. For today's video we'll be using a real estate company as an example. So let's get started. Go over to the dashboard and create a new web chat bot. Once we're in the studio the first thing we want to do is delete all the template cards. Just click on the mouse type button and select trackpad. Select everything and press delete. We can now get started with the conversation. So let's start off with a text card and say something like, want to know how much your house is worth? Let's find out and generate five variants of this. The next card will ask the user what their name is. This is where variables come into play. Variables are like boxes where you can store and retrieve data whenever you need it. In the same context, we will be using the capture card to store the name of the user. Whatever he inputs will go inside this name variable. To know which variable should go on your project, it's often helpful to go to the website and look for a form. This will let you know what type of information the company wants. For this specific project, I will be doing the variables, full name, email, telephone number, property address, postcode, number of bedrooms, and valuation type. Now that we know which variables we want, let's go create them. Go over to the NLU model button and click on create new variable. Now that we have all of our variables created, let's go back to the capture card. Here we simply choose the variable we want to store for the corresponding question. For this capture card, it would be full name. And every time we capture a variable, we link it to a new block. Now we just simply repeat the same process for all of the variables. There's also a feature where you can have the user respond with buttons. You do this with the button card. Click on add button and add as many buttons as you need. Let's also not forget to add an action to each button. In this case, the action would be to set a variable. For the first box, select your variable, which is always wrapped in curly brackets. For the second box, enter the value, which is wrapped in quotes. Now just repeat the process for all of your buttons. Okay, the user is now able to fill out all of the variables. From here, we can link the buttons to an API card. This API card will be useful to link the variables we have to Sapier so we can create an automation. Let's head over to Sapier to create an automation in which we send the variables from VoiceFlow to a Google Sheet. For the trigger, we want web hooks by Sapier. For the event, choose catch hook. Press continue twice, and now we should get a webhook URL. Copy it. Head back to VoiceFlow and set the first box from get to post, and also paste the webhook URL. From here, all we need is to fill in the body section. We have to enter a key and a variable. For the key, just enter the name of the variable, and for the variable, wrap it in curly brackets. Now do the same for all of your variables by pressing the plus sign. Now, if the post API was successful, we want to respond with the text saying something along the lines of, thank you, we will send an email confirmation soon. If the post fails, it'll say it seems something went wrong. Let's also not forget to link all of the buttons to the API post and also add an end card at the very end to end the conversation. Now that the voice flow chatbot is completed and the Sapier webhook is listening for a trigger, we can now give the chatbot a run. Okay, now head back to Sapier and test the trigger. Your variable should come up. Press continue. For the action, we will be doing Google Sheets. On the event box, select create spreadsheet row. Select your account and press continue. Now head over to Google Sheets and create a new sheet. Name your spreadsheet and create headers for where the variables will go in. Go back to Sapier and fill in all the boxes. Then press refresh fields. Now you should see all of the headers that you've created. For each header, select the corresponding variable. And finally, just click continue and publish. And just like that, the automation is complete. So let's give it a go. Now we have all the variables on our spreadsheet. From here you could do so many other automations, such as creating a Gmail with personalized information. But I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. If you learned something new in this video, consider subscribing. Now check out this video on building WhatsApp bots.